Guys, what's up? I want to make some private videos for you guys and uh, get them cranking a little faster than just the workout of the month. So, Zach Evanish here, undergroundstrengthcoach.com. I'll give you a rundown of my workout, although the gist of this uh, video, I'm going to prop this bad boy up because my forearms are crushed. Uh, the gist of this video is about grip strength. But let me take you guys um, through the workout that I did today. <coughs> did a warm up with abs, a lot of band pull aparts, um, and four sets of sleds. I did two sleds, two sets, sets on the dragging, on the pushing and pulling, uh, forward drag, backward drag. It's about 100 feet each set. You could see the turf right here at the underground in Manasquan. This is the hometown I'm in. And then two sets pushing the dog sled, it's called, kind of like a prowler and uh, feeling really good. Got to make sure you always get your heart pumping. Don't just lift heavy weights. After that, this was an upper body day because last Sunday I did upper body here. Monday was a deadlift workout at my other gym. Tuesday was a squatting workout here. A lot of sets, over 10 sets. I posted that on the training log. Um, took Wednesday and Thursday off. Just felt like I needed those two days to rest. Monday and Wednesday are pretty tough for me with all the driving and commuting. Basically, my day is around 4.30 a.m., 4.45 a.m. on those two days. Get home around 9.30. Now, today, uh, started off with close grip bench, did sets of six, and then by my fourth set, I wasn't able to get six. I got three or four, worked up to two, oh, 235, 257, and uh, close grip benching. After that, I did singles working up to 285 on the bench, pausing on my chest for about two or three seconds. After I maxed out at 285, dropped it back down to, uh, what did I do, 185, and then I did three sets of three speed bench with a wide, middle, and close grip, and I did pull-ups after each set on these uh, pull-up bars, they're the monkey bars, so I had wide, close, underhand, switched the grip every set, did three sets of three, speed bench, three sets of five pull-ups. Then I did two sets of wide grip bench, which I rarely do, but the mixed grips gets you strong, gets you out of your comfort zone. So I did two sets of max reps at 185. <clears throat> so a lot of benching, probably did, uh, probably did again about 11 or 12 sets. That is working really well for me. Did a lot of band pull-aparts in between my benching as well. And also during my first sets of heavy bench work, I did kettlebell farmer walks. So I'm upper body pushing, carry, carry, and then some pulling in between. So working hard here. Then I did four sets of incline uh, tape presses. That's this way, dumbbells in. I went 40, 45, yep, 40, 45, and then I did 60. So I actually did three sets, my bad. And then I did one arm like concentration curls, but with a kind of a heaving motion. So more like a one arm bent over cheat curl with kettlebells. And I used, let's see, 53, 62, and 70 pounds. And I max out on each arm. It's great because you have to sneak your arm in there and get it pulled in like an arm wrestling match. So I did three sets. Then I did a grip circuit. I like to show you guys some of the grip tools here. And that's really the gist of this video. I've been doing a lot of grip work, and the other part to this video is I strained something in my bicep or my brachialis a while ago, and uh, it wasn't getting better. And many of you know that I've been complaining like a big fucking pussy about my Achilles. That wasn't getting better. I was doing all kinds of the prehab, rehab, foam rolling, all that shit. It started getting better when I used a band ankle exercise from Dick Hartzell, the guy who invented jump stretch. I'll post that video as well. Essentially, I got the muscles stronger and they started moving in the proper way. I think some of the muscles got weak and then lack of blood flow uh, doesn't help heal. You need blood flow. So now that I'm doing a lot of grip work, my forearm and bicep are feeling better. So I did this. I've got a larger hand grenade. This is from Sornex. Did max out time on the left and right hand. Rolling Thunder maxed out my time there. Then, you see I got the roll, wrist roller here with 11 pounds, but I didn't do that third, I did that last. I went over here and did the captain of crush. You can see we got the crush grippers here. So I worked that. 
So I did the hand grenade, then I did the rolling thunder, then I did the captain of crush, then I did the wrist roller, and I did two rounds. So I did uh, four exercises for two is eight sets. So I did the grip work at the end, and the hands are feeling better. And listen, I'm almost 39, and I got to tell you, when things hurt, I get blood flow to that area. I get myself stronger. That's the bottom line. And uh, those of you that are old school guys, I hate to call myself old school. I'm not even 40. I mean, I don't think you could legitimately call yourself old school unless you've been lifting since the 70s. But man, I've been lifting since 1989. Injuries and bumps and bruises catch up to you. Never stop training. Work around those injuries and always be strong. That's the bottom line, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm posting the video below of Dick Hartzell doing the uh, ankle traction strengthening. Excellent stuff. And uh, that's it, guys. Keep posting your training info on the training logs. And um, that's it, guys. Any questions? Uh, I know it's tough to connect with me sometimes on the forum. Things get lost. You guys can email me at undergroundstrengthcoach at gmail.com. Just remind me and say, hey, I'm a member of the Inner Circle. Or post on the forum and say, hey, Zach, that will grab my attention and it won't get lost in the mix. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend.